we're back. Bruce and Spiel. We're playing a game that's like if Pixar made a video game, this is what it would be. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Whoops. <laughs> Quiet, lady. Uh, all right, I'll pick up. Hello, Two Forks, come back. Hello, Two radio. Forks. Yeah, we can hear. Uh, L2 to activate. Okay. I want to... Oh, I have to choose. That's right. Do you want to talk to her, or Hello? do you not want to? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh. Alright. Whoa. You've, whoa. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody's back home. Nobody back home can stand you. This is quite a dark game. What? What kind of reply is that? Me out on this? Ugh, fine. You didn't choose one. Oh. But I'm gonna Why take you a pick one? And have a guess about you. Let's see. I, don't know I wasn't quick about, enough. But maybe oh, that's cool. You just really like trees. Maybe it's. Gosh. Maybe Ooh, she says I have a tree like fetish. fetish. A tree yep. fetish. That was one of that was one of uh, my high school jokes with my best friend Joey. Firewatch. Firewatch. Was he had a foot fetish? Did he? Yeah. Oh, that was that was yeah. It was it's it was an ongoing joke like all throughout high school <laughs> that he had a foot fetish. It was really funny. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk. How can she so see us? Like, who is this god? <laughs> All right, let's answer. Okay, pick up radio. Activate radio. Haha. -ha. Sorry, guess I slept hey. in. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> this is what six. Six forty-five. Whoops. Her name's Delilah. Don't so then, then you must that have went to bed at like you know four in the afternoon too. the day but before. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round hey, map on it. Do wait. you see it? Oh, okay. Locate the round thing. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W. B. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. <laughs> Are you seeing okay. what I'm seeing? The west-facing. West... Are those fucking west be? fireworks? Well, maybe you should use your compass. Um... You see the instructions at the bottom of the screen to use your compass? I need Great. you to confirm, do you see them? There we go. So, do you see? There you go. Fireworks. Ah. Uh, Seriously, are you seeing this? That's no good. Whoa, that's not six a.m. fireworks. Uh, no. <laughs> you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Delilah, watch your language. Your this is how appropriate, because is. fire is like one of the major things like I look for in my away. job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, is, is fireworks? Pre well, preventing, like, fire things. Okay. Uh, like the kid... Oh, do you think you can kick the shit that? out of him. Can I write them a ticket? Yeah, do that one. Yeah. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. <laughs> well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code three is six. one two three four. <laughs> it's actually that. That's for a terrible all code. Of them. So, um, uh, I kind of want to take water. Take some water with you. That's a good idea. And some dish soap. You never know when you have to wash the dishes. Is that it? No. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Where's this box with the code? She told you it's on the way. Oh, okay, I missed that part. I don't need my backpack? Alright. Oh, okay, it just takes it automatic. They don't even All give right. you the option. So can I run? This looks like a really nice place to hang out for an evening, though. Whoa. There we go. X is to run. Or square. There we go. Alright, yeah, so I just need to not go that way. I need to go this way. You gotta go west. Westerly. Yes. I want to zoom in. Oh, okay, that would have been helpful later. Alright. Ho, ho, ho. Let's get this going. You gotta find the supply box. Alright, John. I got. So we uh, we went to our very first Toronto Maple Leafs game. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And uh, how did that go? <laughs> got smashed out of our fucking minds. Oh my god, did we get drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can't see anybody going to watch the Maple Leafs because they're shit and they just lose anyways. Oh, block trail. We did see them tie the game. With a couple minutes left. With a couple minutes left, and then proceed to lose, lose it game. within the next 60 seconds. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the path. Do, do, do. Ah, there's the box. Okay. Yep. I think I was just shouting incoherent shit at them all night. Yeah, you were... You were pretty bad. <laughs> what did I say? It, 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 was, it was pretty clear that you didn't know really what you were watching <laughs> oops yeah we were doing like tequila shots why do i want a pine cone you probably don't actually i want the rope good idea cool see this was a critical thinking exercise to pick the tool that was most useful to you so i want to lock it back up right you got it right on the second try yeah yeah, I mean, we we the whole pre-bar thing before we went. Yeah. We went bar hopping. Now I want to know what I said to them. Pint, pint, oh, you were just gibberish. <laughs> gibberish. You're like, yeah, get them, they suck. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was good. It was good. The entire time, the entire game. What what? See, what angered me the most was we were cheering for the home team and everybody was looking at us like we were morons. Well, because we kind of were. That's besides the point. They were literally annoyed that we were cheering for the home team. Yeah, you don't go to the Toronto Maple Leafs game to, to watch the Maple Leafs win. It was incredible. I'd never, I've never been in a sports environment where people were ashamed to cheer at a sporting event. Hmm. Uh, it's steep. You're gonna die if oh, you don't now do I this. Attach the rope. There we go. My brother would know how to do this. Attach a rope. Uh, repel like this. There's the fireworks. Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh! Oh boy! Well, Henry doesn't know how to do it. Well, it was an old rope. Well, his back's broken. And it's an old Henry, too. Ha. Oh, he's got a little wedding ring on. Ah! Henry! Report climbing incident. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Oh. So. You can't go down there because. You can't uh, go down there anymore. Your rope's broken and you're too old. Clearly. Okay, well, I want to go this way, anyways. So where's the... Oh. It is a hell of a nice camping spot. Yeah, I'm right. The lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah. Jonesy Lake area. Yeah, so the game was a lot of fun. You went home hammered. You cabbed at home, right? I walked. No, I, uh, I only live like two blocks away. Oh. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, I cabbed at home. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh stomp this thing out. It's warm it's warm today too. It was warm yesterday and today. 
It's above freezing, so I don't even need a hat and gloves. Yeah, but, uh, so upon me coming back to the apartment... So should I... Oh. So we found the evidence, the beer cans, and the yes. fireworks. Indeed. I will examine the Red Eagle. Those rotten kids from the 80s? <laughs> okay. So now I got all their stuff. Oh, let's steal their clothes. Two pairs of clothes. Well, you know what? That's actually a really good idea to find out who did it. Yeah. Can't I just take their clothes? You take the clothes back and you just leave a note saying, come get your clothes back from this watch station yeah. or whatever. And then they have to go do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, we got... Underwear. A bra. Oh, I definitely want to examine this bra. Oh, <laughs> uh, do I look good in it? <laughs> can, I, can I report size. the bra? <laughs> oh, I can't report the bra. You want to tell the lady about the bra? That should be your little secret. Oh, panties. <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. Oh, he just drops them. <laughs> Not half as interested nah. in the panties as he is in the bra. Yeah, he keeps the bra but drops the panties. Tells you a little bit of something. Yeah. Oh, another bra. Another pair of panties. Well. Well, indeed. They don't even need their underwear, apparently. They're going home naked or oh, something. Found them. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Boy, enjoy dealing with that. <laughs> you know, so you, this you is just you just show them their clothes and you just say, "Hey, look at this," and then you just walk away. Oh, I want to smash their boombox. Cool stereo. Whoa, hey, put that down. <laughs> they are drunk. They are drunk. Cool it with the fireworks. I'm so it's dropping this in the water. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy. <laughs> How is he creepy? Dropped in the water. Find another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. <laughs> fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Those stick figures uh, ran away. Find my way back. Oh, that was awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Hey, that go okay? <laughs> it went fine. <laughs> it went fine. Yeah. There won't be any more trouble. Cleaned up, cleaned up the lake Thanks a little bit. Yeah, that was great. All right, let's go for a run. So I gotta go head east. Yeah, cool. All right, so I keep getting sidetracked. I gotta, you take over, because I gotta tell the rest of the story. Okay. It's, it's, it's a doozy. So, I, I make it back to the apartment, and one of my neighbors here down the hall sees me, and goes, Jacob, is that you? I haven't seen, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm like, yeah. And, uh, he invites me in, and he's a, um, he goes to clubs, like, every every night of the week pretty much because it's like his job <laughs> oh, okay I um have a bit of a confession to make well we proceed we a couple of those other friends show up so you gotta press down i'm trying to press which down do i press the analog stick or, oh really or uh no yeah it's the d-pad oh uh, it to took zoom. too long um which one's l1 okay I'm, left I'm, the, the top left Button. Oh, it's yeah. on the side. Oh, it's the shoulder one. Okay. Got so, a few few of his friends come over. Um, a couple of them also live in the building here, and uh, proceed to, you know, I introduce myself and whatnot. Proceed to do a bunch of like smearing off shots. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, but I, you know, after the after the game, I was already drunk. So, what's what's more drinking that gonna hurt, right? <laughs> exactly. That's the way it works. Once you get to a certain point, you're immune. Uh well, here's where it starts getting a little odd. Okay. Okay. They, um... They proceed to start smoking weed. Like, okay. It's pretty expected. Yep. Yeah. Um... 
And then, they, and then uh, I didn't think of it much at the time, but they were like taking turns going to the bathroom quite frequent, frequently. Oh god, okay. After they were smoking weed on the balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. One, two, three, four. See, everybody's gonna try that. You just random kids in the woods are gonna try one, two, three, four. I guarantee it. I think it's just for us to remember. It's easy for us to remember. I as, know. As the game. So see if you can't get that. Oh, there you go. Let's copy the information down. My map oh. has been updated. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the horn so I look scary. Oh, and I can examine it. Oh, with this. Oh, report flashlight. Oh. Huh. Oh. There's a horn in here. That's what I'm most concerned. So how do I choose to say it? Just like a... There's a horn or an antler or whatever. So we take an Uber well, to the club. We wait outside for like 20 minutes. The, uh, the password was no regrets, which I was... I it's this pretty, is pretty bone. ironic because I was already in the mood of no regrets tonight. And uh, we get in there, and I literally didn't drink anything in the bar because I was already hammered. Yeah, you know. Report flashlight. Or you did. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. so um, zoom is I I, uh, I proceed to meet. My neighbor and the, the guys um, in the club, and they go, Jacob, Jacob, come here, come here. We just got some more stuff. I'm like, more stuff? It's like, yeah. You, uh, you want to do some? <laughs> like, what, weed? No, I can't, I can't. My job, my job won't let me uh, smoke weed or anything. He's like, no, 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 no. This is better. And they pull out, like, an eight ball of cocaine. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's what you guys were doing in the apartment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am not comfortable anymore. <laughs> I don't tell them that. I'm like, no, no, that's uh, that's way over what I want to do ever in my life. <laughs> yeah. Um, and at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm just totally hammered. Uh, I'm probably not going to remember, like, anything. And sure enough, I just, I just cabbed it home again <laughs> for the second time that night. Yeah. Did you do any of the cocaine? I did not do any cocaine, which is nice. <laughs> but man, they were just... You get drug tested all the time for your job anyways. Oh, yeah. And... <laughs> but before I left, I see them just go... <laughs> big line of cocaine. I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> so that was pretty intense. And sure enough, as soon as I got home and I saw my toilet, I just proceeded to make friends with it. Yeah. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse. That's a really important thing to report back. Oh, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your I'm own happy barrel. to amuse you, Delilah. So that was, a, that, was a, that was a good cocaine experience. Yeah, yep. there you go. That's your first cocaine experience. It is not my first cocaine experience. Okay. It was a cocaine experience that I get to add in my book. Yeah, you know what? Like, I've never really been around people doing cocaine. Oh, within a second, they were, like, off their... They were just balls out. Yeah. It was like, oh. Well, they've been doing it all night already, anyways. Yeah, and they were literally insane. Hmm. By the time the club hit. They were literally insane. Yeah. So, why can't I go this way? I want to go into the sunset. You can't go through the bushes. <sighs> okay, we'll go the normal way. Yeah. We need to get back to the back to the firewatch station. Yep. Is that it? It's a firewatch station. Oh. Maybe not the original not not the one that I'm supposed to like that I started in, but it's a firewatch station. Oh, open the door. Oh. Well, doesn't this look nice? Something's wrong. I sense something is wrong with this cabin. I will use my ranger senses. Oh, and the girls that were waiting outside the club with us, they were doing it too, and... Huh. Um... It was like a big... It was just like a big club cocaine party there. That's why you need the password to get in. Yeah. I think that had a lot... Yeah. Oh. Oops. I want to examine it like this. Well. Yep. 
We're doing a good job examining this guitar. This is usually how I look at guitars. But there's, you know, there's always that like weird curiosity over things like that. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like I wonder what happens if I just do it once, but you know, instantly you would just regret that decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> a raccoon. <laughs> you deserved it, buddy. You should know better than to mess with Pixar raccoons. <laughs> Report the raccoon attack. Uh, dot dot dot. Holy crap! I think I might have just gotten rabies. <laughs> Delilah doesn't care. Go on. I'm, I'm sniffing around an old lookout, and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. <laughs> uh, Delilah, you are a smarmy well, woman. Well, before you... Uh, well, okay. Okay, go on. Out with it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter. Well, there's a dead raccoon <laughs> that is haunting this so, place. So, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? Okay, so before you reply again... God damn it, John! Horse fights? <laughs> in Mexico. Oh, so wow. Well. One of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout... We have to know the end of the story anyways, right? Didn't stop. Finally, one night he awoke to find I someone guess. in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. But just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry. So he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. <laughs> I love, old, I love stupid horror stories like this. <laughs> yeah, I love horror stories that are just so not scary. And way more amusing than scary. He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course nothing was Doing there either. Dance. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then, a figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified. My God, the story is long. Start walking back. I want to also ask about the burning bed, though. Well, I guess we, I guess we already asked about it. I'm really sorry I asked you, Delilah. I think we're not going to talk to you anymore. No, give me that. <laughs> give me that control. Next time on Mushin Spiel. Thank you. All right, thank you for joining us.